Hi and welcome to our Candoc channel. My name is Oliver and this tutorial is going to be about our LED light system. First, uh, I should tell you that our LED light system is only compatible with our service cube and tile series. So if you have regular G2 cubes, well, you will need to add a row of service cube to uh, be able to install the light. Okay, so before we jump in the installation part, let's take a look at the component that we have for the LED light system. So the first one that we have is the LED light. Uh, it comes with a 24 inches cable, two connectors, one female and one male, and one of the connector has this orange uh, O-ring. Uh, so once it's screwed with the other light, uh, this prevents the dirt or water to get in. Our second component is a 10 foot extension. Uh, it comes with the same connectors and this is going to be used when you need to connect two light together but the 24 inches cable are not long enough. So the other component that we're going to need is this power unit. This one comes with the uh, North American outlet here because that's what we use in Canada but it's also available with our uh, European or UK outlet. Inside this black box, there's three more components uh, attached to this cable here. There's a power converter, which will convert your regular AC into 12 volt, which will then power on the controller here on top. This is going to be used for turning on and off the light. There's also a button here so you can change the color manually. And there's another uh, mode here that is going to change the color of your light every 10 seconds. And here on the bottom that we can see there's the photocell, uh, which mainly going to act as a switch. So when it's light outside, it's going to turn off the system. And when it gets dark again, well, it's going to turn it back on. So I've got a small setup here. Uh, it's not big, but it's going to give you the basics that you need to know. Uh, you can see also that it's going to work with regular cubes or if you have edge cube on the side. Okay, so first we're going to start with the black box. Uh, this power unit is meant to be installed close to the dock but on the shore. Um, it's much safer to have 12 volt electricity running through the dock than regular AC and uh, I'm pretty sure you know why. So this is why we put this on the shore. Uh, there's tabs here that you can just bolt it on a tree or a wood post. So if you don't have an electricity line uh, close to the dock, the first step would be to call an electrician and get this set up. Once it's there, uh, the next step will be to uh, plug this in just to make sure that this power unit works correctly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug into an extension cord. And just by plugging it in, uh, we can see that it's working because there's a, a bluish purplish light here on top which means uh, that the controller is turned on uh, th so that the uh, converter here does receive the AC, converts it into 12 volt and then turn on the controller here on top. So the next step will be to test a, a light. There is actually a cable here that's going out of this box which is indicate LEDs out so you can't go wrong here. So we take a light out of the box. This is a female connection, so I'm going to use the male here. Okay, and there's two notches here on the connectors, so there's there's only one way that it can be in. So just make sure it fits like that. I'm going to turn on here the controller, and nothing happens. That means the room that I'm in, the, it's, too, it's too bright, so the photocell will not trigger on the light. So I have to cover it with my hand. It takes a few seconds. And then the lights turn on. So that at this point, I know that the black box works pretty fine. The light's working good. And if I remove my hand, another three or four seconds, and the, the lights turn off. Okay, so now I have the uh, power unit con uh, plugged in. Uh, it, it's way down there. Uh, I've put it something over the photocell so it will trigger on, simulate like if it's the night. I've also plugged in two extension cord 10 foot, so we have 20 foot here. 
Uh, probably you will have a gangway here to sit to be on to access the dock or a wood ramp or uh, stairs. Uh, the the, twen the twenty foot cable will be able to run along that and go inside here the, the service channel, so you will not see it from the dock. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the light. There we go. Um, one thing to make sure is to put them together uh, further possible so the, the O-ring, the gasket here, touches the other connector before um, screwing them together. And just by hand, don't need any tool, just like that. Also, I have triggered the uh, auto change color every 10 seconds, so during the video you will be able to see different colors. Next. I'm going to put the light here. There's a, on the white cover, there's always some hole pre-drill. Uh, this is meant for the light to go in. Actually, right now, the rubber, that the, it's, it's upside down, so I'm gonna change it the other way. And this is going to be, uh, you just need to push it just gently here into the hole. And the uh, light is gonna, it's going to stick right there. So I'm going to put the other cable for the next light. And then I'm going to put the cover. Right here. So at this point, we have two options. We could put a second light straight beside the other one. Or we could put a regular tile here, which is going to be the same color of the dock. So you can spread the light two cubes apart. In that case, that's what we're going to do. So before putting the tile here, I'm going to connect the second light. Same thing, make sure that the connectors are in the good alignment. Press firmly, just make sure that the gasket touches the other connector and screw it by hand. There we go. I can then put the regular tile. There we go. And then, so this light works good. I'm gonna change the gasket again. I'm going to put it into the hole there we go. And then I can put the cover in place, just like that. So this is what I mean by the 10 foot extension cord is gonna go uh, right here onto the, uh, the gap that is creating between the cover and the uh, service cube. So the gangway is gonna drop here on the cube. Obviously, we're not going to put a light here on the first dock because it's going to be underneath the gangway, so you won't see the light. But for the purpose of this video, I, I've put it there. So the gangway is going to drop here on the dock, and you can just zip tie or, or, or whatever method you choose, but you can attach this uh, underneath so uh, it's, it's not going to be uh, in a way. Now I'm going to um, screw the connecting pins. So this is our Kendock LED light system. Our power unit will uh, be able to light up to a maximum of 50 light, and we do not recommend to go over a straight line of 200 feet. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it will help you on your next installation. Thanks for watching.